Welcome back, everybody. Can art help transform a life or even a neighborhood? For 13 years now, an organization here in Boston has sought to help make that happen. Ubuntu Arts is a program at Boston University's Wheelock College of Education and Human Development, and it matches mentors with young people to create art. And their annual exhibit is about to open. And joining us now is a whole bunch of people from Ubuntu Arts on the set with us here. We're so happy to have you all here. Thank you so much for coming in. This is Ann Toby. She is the director of Ubuntu Arts. She's a professor at BU's Wheelock College as well. Uh, Akita Hunter here, a student at Wheelock College. Uh, Neliana Medley, also a student at Wheelock College. And right there in the middle, Kiara Lara, who is an eighth grader at Boston Collegiate Charter School. And you're one of the students working on these projects. Thank you again. And all so much for coming in. We are really appreciate it. It's psyched to be here. And you brought some of the artwork with you. We'll yeah. get to all of that. But first, I want to ask you, Anne, mm -hmm. what does Ubuntu Arts do? What is it? What is this project? Well, our students go out and work with groups in the community of um, youth and inspire them, facilitate the groups, and make collaborative artwork. And so often the art has a message and, and that's one of the that's goals right. is to deliver a message with the art we have one of the quilts here mm -hmm. this is something that, that some of the students made as an ubuntu arts project that's correct that was made at charlestown high school in uh right after the earthquake in haiti and the group of youth at the school wanted to make something uh that would help the people in haiti recover from the horrible earthquake and they created these um two quilts and we were able to sell them and the proceeds went back to Haiti. It's beautiful. And uh, over here, stage left, uh, we actually have a piece of art of Desmond Tutu, of course, mm -hmm. the famous uh, South African yep. anti-apartheid leader. And you said that he came to BU in 2007. He, he helped inspire Ubuntu Arts. What's the story behind this? Right. He actually came to Wheelock College. When he came to campus, it's when we first learned about Ubuntu and what the word means, mm. which is, I am because you are. It's, um, it's an idea about our relationship to one another. Neliana, I want to go to you. You are at Wheelock College. You are eventually going to become a, a, some, a youth justice advocate. Um, what have you gotten out of this project so far? Well, I'm at Mothers for Justice and Equality, so I'm working with a group of teens who our overall goal wanted to be injustice. So for each individual youth, it's what does injustice look like to them in their community. So we have a range of topics from LGBTQ plus discrimination. We have gun violence. We have police brutality. We have a whole bunch of just topics, and the youth are really just expressing art through Canvas and mixed media to show what that injustice means to them, whether it be in their communities that they see at school or just different things to relate to injustice. And Kiara, you are a student who has uh, Akita as a mentor and is working with Ubuntu Arts. You have your project that you've been working on here. Can you tell us about this? Um, so technically, we've been making different projects. So there's two different types of projects we're making. We're making ones are buildings of Boston which are like the most top important buildings of Boston that made Boston what it is. Mm -hmm. And then we also have been making like urns because technically like the youth violence is like out of control. Like there's high numbers of like high youth deaths in like certain other cities of Boston. And it's like crazy how you think of like there's this one part where you think it's safe and then there's another part where there's like the violence ranks are so high. With our community we have these things going on and unless we realize that I am because we are then we're not going to realize that this person's going through this and this person's going through that and we can make a change if, if as a community we come together to do that but unless we come together as a community it's never gonna no change is ever gonna come from that. And what are you hoping is achieved through Ubuntu Arts. The young people who have an opportunity to work with the groups um, learn about Ubuntu and also have an opportunity to, to speak what is important to them, to consider the um, issues that are important to them, but they also have an opportunity to work in groups. They're, they make collaborative projects. They have to to debate and discuss and come to decisions about what they want to make, what's important to them, and as a group, what they're going to make, and then, um, and then they have to make it. So there's a lot of real uh, collaboration and working together to express themselves as as a unit, um, which is perfect for 
I am because we are. That's right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Fits right in. Eliana, Kiara, Akita, and thank you so much from Ubuntu Arts Project. I know the exhibit is April 8th to the 20th. It's mm -hmm. at the uh, Town Art Gallery at BU in Boston. Go check it out. Lots of art projects like this. It's going to be beautiful, wonderful. Good luck with it. Thank you so thank much for joining you. us. Thank you so much. We